It is enough for the disciple to become like his teacher and the slave like his master. If they have called the head of the house Beelzebul, how much worse will they call the members of his household? The Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 25. No one will dispute this statement, for it would be unseemly for the servant to be exalted above his master. When our Lord was on the earth, what was the treatment he received? Were his claims acknowledged, his instructions followed, his perfections worshipped by those whom he came to bless? No, indeed he was despised and rejected of men. Outside the camp was his place, cross-bearing was his occupation. Did the world grant him solace and rest? Foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. This inhospitable country offered him no shelter. It cast him out and crucified him. And so if you are a follower of Jesus and maintain a consistent Christ-like walk and conversation, you must expect to be the lot that part of your spiritual life which, in its outward development, comes under the observation of men. They will indeed treat you as they treated the Saviour. They will despise you. Do not dream that the worldlings will admire you, or that the more holy and more Christ-like you are, the more peaceably people will act toward you. They prize not the polished gem, so how are they going to value the jewel in the rough? If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? If we were more like Christ, we would be more hated by his enemies. It were a sad dishonour to a child of God to be the world's favourite. It is a very ill omen to hear a wicked world clap its hands and shout, Well done, to a Christian man. In which case he should look to his character and whether, whether, wonder whether he has not been doing wrong when the unrighteous give him praise. So let us be true to our master and have no friendship with a blind and base world which scorned and rejected him. Far be it from us to seek a crown of honour where our Lord found a coronet of thorns. Amen.